Good morning, everybody. Yogi here. I'm doing well. I hope you're doing well. I am in Green Lake, Wisconsin today, which is in Green Lake County. And I stopped here at the Dartford Green Lake Dam Restoration Area. Nice and quiet this morning. The ducks, birds. Very peaceful. I love that sound. And it goes through a little tunnel and into the river. I could sit here all day and listen to that. It's just something about it. Something soothing. Hartford Green Lake Dam. On this site in 1845, Anson Dart built the first dam and sawmill, raising the level of Green Lake and forming the mill pond in Dartford Bay. In 1850, John Sherwood opened a new outlet from the pond with a mill race and built a four-story grist mill. Over the years, several reconstructions of the dam were needed to maintain the lake level, including a major change in 1900 by Victor Lawson. In 1986, heavy rains and high waters caused erosion of the earthen embankment. The Department of Natural Resources ordered the lake level to be lowered until the city of Green Lake could repair the dam. With no tax money available, a committee was formed to raise $150,000 in voluntary contributions. And in 1988, repairs were made with steel sheathing to strengthen the dam. Dedication was on July 3rd, 1988, commemorating the generosity of Green Lake area people and organizations whose contributions made dam reinforcement possible. This is kind of downtown right here, Green Lake. Green Lake's very touristy. Um, a lot of people come here and vacation. There is a pretty pretty nice place called the Heidel House that's in town here. It's like a hotel spa convention center. And we were fortunate enough back 10 years ago, maybe even farther back than that, to investigate it because there were reports of paranormal activity there. So our group went to the... Um, Heidel House and did an investigation. Unfortunately, that night we had nothing happen. But it was very neat to have free reign of a place, you know, as big as the Heidel House. I am in Green Lake for a specific purpose, though, and we will get to that destination shortly. Found this interesting little leprechaun sticking out of a trombone. Um, this is the Thrasher Opera House in Green Lake and uh, apparently they still have some some shows it's very old building it says Thrasher Opera House here historic structure 1910 it says Thrasher's Opera House 506 Mill Street restored in memory of Charles A Th Charles R Thrasher originally constructed in 1910 you can kind of tell it's got that old feel A little, I don't know if you can see in there or not, but I got a little bar area right there, and then there's your seating on the inside. Sorry, my hand's in the way, but I'm trying to get a view of the stage. So, there you go, you got the Thrasher Opera House. I'm in front of the Green Lake Town Square Community Center. Almost looks like this might have been a courthouse at one time. Library? I don't think it was a library. But I was, as I was driving around, I kind of noticed something that was a little weird. This piece of art here. <laughs> I have no idea what it means. There's nothing that says, you know, 
who the artist is or what the art piece is but it looks like we got some mermaids <laughs> birds mermaids my goodness I don't even know they got them all here cats horses Another shot of downtown here, a little bit of downtown. The Little Corporal Family Restaurant. I don't know what that means. It's pretty neat though. You got your gas station in the middle of town. Very quiet today. So there's a specific reason I came out to Green Lake, and that is to check out Dartford Cemetery. Now, for people who don't know Dartford Cemetery in Green Lake, it was featured in season four of A Haunting on the Discovery Channel or Travel Channel at the time, or Sci-Fi Channel, I really don't know which channel it was but it uh had to do with that tomb right there that big tomb right there the jackson walker tomb now rumor has it that if you go on the if you sit on top of the uh the crypt unknown hands will push you off and people have been in here doing stupid things you know the cemeteries are not for playing in cemeteries are not for being disrespectful cemeteries are for respecting who is here and a lot of people come in here and do stupid things you know on the sign here it says any activity other than normal cemetery visitation and maintenance is prohibited and considered trespassing it is under video surveillance so this side is locked, or not locked, but closed, but that side's open. So I don't know if you're not allowed to go on this side or if you can go on this side, I, you know. Let's see, okay, opened up, fair enough. So there's also another tombstone that I wanna check out in here. I tried looking for it one time, long time ago, years ago but uh this tomb here is the jackson walker tomb apparently some kids were sitting on top of this particular tomb and they got pushed off and some kind of evil presence decided to follow them you can watch it it's on discovery plus or you know reruns on tv but it's it's season four i believe it's episode one and it is called legend trippers now there's also another tombstone here that's really really creepy and it has to do with a an indian chief chief highknocker here's some unfortunate uh gravestones that have been toppled over or just fell due to time and the elements here's another one amos sherwood died at appleton wisconsin july 2nd 1855 
Now the legend is that Chief Heinacher was swimming across Green Lake for some reason, or trying to swim in Green Lake, and uh, drowned. But I mean, look at that. That's if you don't mind, Chief Heinacher, I'd like your permission to to view your sketch there. See now, I don't know if somebody colored that in. And if they did, that's just really disrespectful. Don't do stuff like that. It looks like somebody colored in his face. I don't know. I could be wrong, but a lot of people have left coins, money, Chief Heinacher's grave. And there's a little boulder here that says Heinacher, Winnebago Chief. And that says drowned August 12th, 1911. So I'm just paying my respects to you, Chief Heinacher. I'm not being disrespectful. I appreciate you letting me come here and and film your 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 tomb, your place of rest. And Chief Heinacher, I hope you rest in peace. I don't know what to believe as far as the the a haunting episode, if that actually happened, or you know, if people were really, you know, chased by demons or you know, they make it look really good for TV. Um, there was a problem here. Now see, there you go. There's your cameras and they're right here. They're here for a reason. They're here on this particular tomb because people come here. It, it doesn't matter if it's during the day people or at night. You don't be disrespectful and you don't climb up on these. You don't climb up on somebody's tomb. It's just totally disrespectful to come in here at all. Let these people rest. And the fact that it became such a problem in Green Lake that, you know, there were police watching constantly. This was, you know, the cops were here all the time. There, there, there were people coming here all the time trying to climb up on this tomb. And just, you know, that's what happens when you live somewhere and there's a, a haunting episode that comes on about your town, you know, and people from, like me, I mean, I'm from West Bend and I'm here to check this out, but I'm not here to climb on and be disrespectful. I'm just here to document that this is the tomb that supposedly pushes people off of it when they climb on it. Well, I mean, if, if I was trying to rest in peace and somebody was climbing all over my tomb, I'd probably want to push them off too. It's too bad that you can't come to a cemetery now without there being a trail camera <laughs> and lights all over the place. I mean, if you come near here at night to climb up on that, you're going to have your picture taken. The light's going to go off. They're probably going to notify the authorities. And you're going to get in trouble. So don't do it. It ain't worth it. Come to the cemetery during the hours that they're open. And be respectful. Like here's another one here. That's broken up in a couple pieces. Here's an older one. 1877 that one's been put back together numerous times sometimes think that never blows so red arose as where some buried Caesar bled that every way I can't read that oh yeah those two last two lines are kind of mossed over and we're done and that's how you should visit a cemetery